Hello everyone. It's about noon on Tuesday and I wanted to take a minute to check in with everyone and offer a little bit of encouragement. First off, I want to thank you for checking in with my wife and I. Uh, this is really, as we know, an unprecedented time for people in the medical community and here in Short Pump. This is really uh, ground zero, if you will, for uh, the coronavirus uh, in this part of the state due to the number of nursing homes and skilled care facilities that are just in this one district alone. But above all, I want to offer a little bit of encouragement and hopefully show you kind of what's going on in my mind. During this time, one of the words that we hear all the time is essential. Uh, essential staff or uh, essential jobs and people like myself and nurses and doctors really appreciate all of the gratitude that's shown towards us but I personally want to thank you and extend that gratitude it's not just the uh, fire EMS and nurses and doctors if you are part of the uh, cleaning staff if you are respiratory therapy if you are part of uh, nutrition, uh, if you are part of the supply chain, if you work at a uh, grocery store, you work at a bank, you work at a gas station, you are essential. And what I guess what I'm trying to say is that we are all essential. If you are living during this time right now, you are essential. You were essential yesterday, you were essential last year, and when we get through this, you will be essential tomorrow and you will be essential five, ten years down the road. If you are living right now, what's important is that we're in this together. It's not just firefighters, it's not just nurses, it's not just people who are quote on the front lines. If you are living right now, you are on the front lines and you are doing a tremendous job to flatten the curve, to, to move up that date. Because I, I, I don't know when this will end. I don't know when things will go back to normal, if they'll really ever go back to normal. And it's really important for us to, to share in that together and to know that we're trying and we are making a difference. You know, we'll get back together as a church at, at one point, but know that you know, things are different. And what I think about so many times is, is going through scripture and think about those pieces of scripture when it says that we have to take captive those thoughts that are in our minds. Because so many times things creep into our minds of doubt, of fear, of anxiety, and God and Christ shows us that we got to take those thoughts captive. We have to shift our minds and we have to know that we have to get through this. We will get through this. Uh, I had a, a gentleman who came into my life about 20 years ago. I had no idea who he was. He had no idea who, he, who I was. But one day uh, after a service, actually it was the very first day that I was in uh, the church where I worked as a campus minister for the first time, he walked up to me after a Sunday night service and he said, that's right, I forgot you and I were having coffee at my house tonight. And this gentleman was uh, an elder of the church. His name was Bud Ice, which I always thought was the greatest name ever for an elder. And, and Bud had no idea who I was. I had no idea who, who Bud was. But he approached me and said, hey, let's have a cup of coffee. And I kind of shrugged it off for a minute. I said, oh, I don't have time. And he told me, he said, you know, you may not understand this today. You may not understand it tomorrow. Or when you understand it, but there's always time for coffee. And in these times like this, I think back to Bud and I think I'm understanding it a little bit more. So wherever you're at right now in life, wherever you are um, quarantined, whatever your job is, uh, I feel as a first responder that you are more essential than I am because you stop it at the front line. Because when that alarm goes off, guess what? Something bad has happened. And I don't ever want to put my skills to work. But when I'm called to, I will. So. I just want to tell you, hey, be like Bud. There's always time for coffee, and there's also time for lunch.